Hello and welcome to Desert Rat Fiber Arts. I'm Desert Rat, but you can call me Lloyd. Okay, today we're going to continue on with our 2023 fiber study. Um, unfortunately, I had a little bit of an issue with the camera. I recorded the first part of this episode and then afterwards I realized that um, I didn't um, have the uh, record setting on my external re audio recorder, so the audio was bad in the first one. So we don't have the raw fiber, the unspun fiber to look at right now other than a, a small sample of it, which I will show here and then we'll still go through and read the book and we'll talk about this particular breed. So uh, this week uh, we are doing Shetland. Also, again from Hearthside Fibers and again I purchased this myself. Um, uh, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form by them it's just um me uh learning something new and so what we get out of it <laughs> um okay so this says that it's from scotland it's 29 to 31 microns average staple length of 90 millimeters or three and a half inches um i do have some of the fiber here that's some of my spun I do always try to save at least um, a little bit that I pulled out. So we measured it and it was about a four inch staple length that we got out of this. Uh, it's this lovely dark chocolatey brown color that I just love. Um, I've spun Shetland a few times um, and it's a fiber that I have a, a fondness for. So. Let me go ahead and put that aside, and then we will take a look at the field guide fleece, which I have here. And we will turn to our Shetland page. There's our photos of our Shetland sheep. And let me go ahead and read to you what the book says about it. Uh, origin is Scotland, Shetland, Shetland Islands, I think are south of southern Scotland. I could be wrong. Fleece weight is two to five pounds or one to two and a quarter kilograms. Staple length varies by type, two inches to 10 inches. That is five to 25 centimeters. Fiber diameters is 20 to 30 microns, generally widely variable depending upon strain. Natural colors, as wide an array as any breed, whites, creams, tans, browns, all shades of gray and black. It says here, it can be difficult to tell whether the Shetland wool you buy is from A, a pure breed Shetland sheep from the islands, North America or elsewhere, or B, a sheep another breed that makes its home on the Shetland Islands in the North Atlantic. Shetland wool warrants and rewards extensive study. All right, with many fleece grades and an exceptionally wide natural color range, wool from the Shetland breed can satisfy any taste and any need. Different strains of the breed produce strongly different fleeces. When you have seen one fleece labeled Shetland, you have only started to learn about the breed. The locks of their dense fleece are essentially triangular, wider at the base and somewhat pointed. The finer fibers are nicely crimped. Those with longer, coarser fibers may be wavy to nearly straight. You can spin from the lock, card short, fine fleeces, and comb or flick longer fine, medium, or mixed fleeces. The fiber types may be easy to separate or you may need to spin them together, but spinning should be relatively smooth and easy. Effects of dyes, white Shetland wools are often dyed and the breed's natural colors can be over dyed. Best uses, combining light weight with unusual durability for the uh, degree of Fineness, Shetland yarns can be used for anything from a delicate shawl to sturdy rope. The fine to medium fleeces make exceptional sweaters. Most Shetland fleeces will felt. Okay, so I did record the spinning. So we're going to go over that real quick. And then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the finished yarn. <music>
Okay, the yarn has been wet finished and hung up to dry, and here's what we got. So, out of this we got about 26 yards chain ply, uh, about a bulky weight, about 7 wraps per inch. The uh, yarn is uh, very squishy, got a bit of stretch to it. Uh, I'd say it's got a fair amount of drape, I mean, not as drapey as some others, but it is a very nice wool. I had absolutely no problem spinning this. Um, I have spun Shetland before. Like I say, I, it's the wool I actually learned on a spinning wheel with was Shetland. Um, and then uh, the first fleece I ever fully processed, I bought the fleece, did the whole the whole nine yards with it, the, the uh, skirting and washing and picking and combing <laughs> and spinning of that. That was uh, also Shetland. That was a beautiful um, fleece. It was a, more of a gray color um, from a sheep I got. I've got it from, um, what was it, McTavish Farms in um, Eugene, Oregon. Uh, and the sheep's name was Bloom. So she had a very beautiful um, fleece that I enjoyed spinning very much. So, have you spun Shetland before? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Was it true Shetland or was it, do you know? Or was it another breed of sheep that happens to live in Shetland and they call it a Shetland? Who knows for certain, <laughs> but have you spun it? What are your thoughts on it? And what have you used it for? So, that's it. Uh, next time, I don't have it with me right now, we should be doing Radnor, which is from Wales. So, until next time, this is Desert Rat. Happy crafting.